guys, Sandy here, and today I am going to be doing a Sketch It Challenge uh, for the Crafty Maven Getaway. I am going to be using this page map sketch right here. It is an 8.5 by 11 sketch, but I am going to stretch it a little bit and make it into a 12 by 12. So I have a sheet of white cardstock here and these two photos from the Lego store in downtown Disney in California. So let's see what I can do. So I decided that that piece of pattern paper across the back of the layout, I was going to create my own rainbow background. Now, initially, I had thought that I would create this rainbow background and I would die cut stars out of it and just basically fill that entire area on the sketch with stars. However, I liked the background so much that I decided not to do that. I decided not to cut out the stars and just use it as a background on its own. Now I am not a blending fiend by any means, but I'm going to show you what worked for me and why I liked what I did. So I started off with a red color. I moved into pink. I did take the pink up into the red color a little bit and I did the same thing the entire uh, layout. So here I have all of my colors. I just have my Distress Oxides in its own little plastic bin. So there I have the orange and then here I have the yellow going on and then I'm going to go on to the rainbow order of colors. Now, yes, I know pink is not in the rainbow, but I wanted it on this layout, so there it is. Now, I have discovered that I really, really like blending colors, even though this might not be like the best uh, blending ever, I still really like it. So here I am, I'm going back, I'm bringing the pink farther along into the orange, and also farther along into the red, so it's less stripey. Now, there are definitely stripes here. You can definitely see the distinction of colors. It is not um, a beautiful fade. It is definitely a stripe, but it's kind of a faded stripe. And that is exactly what I was looking for, so I am stupid happy that uh, it happened. So there is the green, and I'm going back to the yellow just to blend that green a little bit better into itself. <laughs> and as you can see, as I'm going along, my lines are getting wider and wider. So there is the blue. And see how I have like those lines? That's because I real I just plopped it down on the page. I wasn't moving my uh, Distress Ink blending tool. I was just kind of going for it. Now, here I bring back the green and I am blending into the yellow and to the blue a little bit more and then I'm back into the blue and blending it into the green a little bit more because like I said I've got stripes going on here and I am totally cool with that. Now I do keep um, all of the ink pads they're right above me outside of the camera um, in the order that they are and I'm just pulling off the little uh, ink pad there and, um, oh, look at that. That I love that color so much. Ah, oh, so pretty. Sorry, I got distracted by the pretty colors. So I have um, ink blending tool, uh, like little, the foam pads. And I don't have them for every single color, but I do have them for, like I have one that I use on the reds, I have one I use on pinks, one I use on oranges, ones I use on greens, ones I use on yellow. So I don't have pads for every single little color, although I really think that that would be fun to do. <laughs> um, and really think it would be fun to have um, a tool for every single color, but yeah. That's a little excessive for my level of inking. If I ever turn into an inking machine, then maybe, but I'm not an inking machine whatsoever. So here I'm just going back and blending it a little bit better so that my stripes, I have blendy stripes is what I have here, blendy stripes. And I'm totally okay with that. I like the blendy stripes. <laughs> 
And then I decide, here's where I bring, see, I'm also bringing the color a little bit uh, longer. Look at that, it's so pretty. I'm so excited. So I'm thinking, yep, I'm just gonna cut that out. And that's what I do. Oh, look at it, it's gorgeous. So I cut it out and I put it on this black and white striped paper. And this paper is from Pink Fresh Studio. And I decided to mount it on a white cardstock background. Now, I have always been a huge fan of pattern paper. I love pattern paper. Pattern paper is my jam. But I gotta say, sometimes I just really want a white background, especially with the rainbow color I have going on here. I knew I wanted white and black. Now these are die cuts from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Does that sound right? Elizabeth Craft Designs. I bought them at the uh, Stampin' Scrapbook Expo. I just really love them and thought that they would be perfect uh, to mimic what the sketch has. So I do have my photos uh, overlapped a little bit and they are mounted on black cardstock. I really like the black cardstock uh, against this rainbow uh, inked paper that I've created. So I'm using some Gina K Quick Connect glue. I also got that at the Stampin' Scrapbook Expo and I love it. It definitely adheres. It's definitely a good strong glue and it's probably going to be my new wet glue of choice. Um, I was never really a big wet glue user, but I've had a couple um, I've tried, I've got, I've gotten, you know, I bought a couple and tried them. I've got some tonic glue. Um, I've got, what else do I have? I have a Lawn Fawn glue. The Lawn Fawn and the Gina K seem to be very, very similar. They're even in the same style tube. Um, but my Lawn Fawn likes to clog. I wonder if that means the Gina K is going to clog. You know, I've tried the Tombow Mono. So there it is. I felt like I needed a little bit of the gold glitter over here on the right side of the page. And then I'm trying to figure out what letters I wanna use, what words I wanna use. So I grabbed this Amy Tangerine and it's yes, but it's yes with lots of S's. And I felt like I didn't need all those extra S's. So I'm just going to use the yes and I try out cutting off the end the little nub of the s over here to see if I wanted to cut it all off or just have a little teeny nub I decided to go with the little teeny nub I felt that that looked better and then I'm going to use these hearts and I'm going to place them to where they are basically in the rainbow order so like this green Heart is going in the green area. Even though I have that yellow on top of the blue and purple, I decided to bring in that yellow heart right there and that's not gonna stay there. So don't worry about it. <laughs> um, but I do pull in these glitter white thickers and I'm gonna spell out Lego. Now, I know Lego is all capital letters in the way that they write it. However, I am completely okay with making uh, my Lego all lowercase letters. I actually don't have a preference either way if I am using upper or lowercase letters on my layout. It's just kind of the, what I'm feeling. So I have these little um, teeny flat kind of tile letter stickers. I can't even remember where they came from, but they are very small and very flat. And I really wish I remembered where I got them because I'm starting to run out. I have moved on to the second sheet and um, that's gonna make me sad when I run out of these letter stickers. So my title is We Say Yes to Lego. The big, big Lego fans in this house. Um, my largest Lego set is probably my Disney castle and my husband's largest Lego set, I don't know if it is one of the Star Wars sets or Voltron. Yeah, I got him Voltron for Christmas, guys. He still hasn't put it together. It's sitting in the box, but uh, yeah. When I got my Lego castle, I had it put together 
very, very quickly after I got it. Um, I just wanted to get it done. But he is... Part of it is the anticipation of opening it for him. So, hey, what whatever floats his boat. <laughs> so, uh, I don't remember what this little thing says. Something about, oh, buy all the things. <laughs> yes, because that is the Lego motto, isn't it? Buy all the things. <laughs> So I'm just going to go ahead and fit that there. Now I did trim it down so that it fit between the black paper uh, photo mat and the G. So I am pulling in some enamel dots in the same color family. So that green is not the exact green that's there. And okay with that. The pink that I put in is not gonna be the exact pink either. Totally okay with that. This pink is more of a uh, purpley pink. And I'm okay with it. I like the way it looks. It is very pretty to me. Now these purple uh, enamel dots here, yes, they, they look good. And I decide to just bring that yellow heart over here to the yellow section and I place it over top of the photo uh, for two reasons. Really there wasn't, there's not a whole lot of yellow left to place the heart on top of. And I've already got the pink heart over top of the photo, so I felt like it worked with the yellow heart. Plus, I like the size kind of balance. It's like that smaller yellow one is in between the two larger ones, and I like that as well. So here are some blue stars, and they are Jimmy stars. And these have been uh, featuring on a couple of my layouts lately, and that is because I just feel like they're perfect for Disney layouts and I have been scrapbooking a Disneyland trip so they just seem to be repeating themselves throughout my layouts. So I have these um, cut aparts from Pretty Little Studio and this one is a pink one that says adventure so I just tuck that underneath of the pink heart. I've got like this whole little pink area going on over here and then I find one in yellow and I'm just trimming that down. That's what I'm doing off camera over there on the side. And this one, what does that say? Away we go. And I felt that that was appropriate for a couple different reasons. So one, I did have to go away to Disneyland. Uh, two, Lego takes you away to imagination. <laughs> and three, we've got Jasmine and Aladdin and Genie kind of flying so they are definitely going away. Now I wanted to bring in this uh, word uh, sticker on a label as well that says this is my happy place. And what I thought I needed was I needed to bring this gold down underneath of the photo because I wanted that um, sticker to be underneath of the photo as well. So instead of cutting out more, which probably would have been easier, probably would have taken the same amount of time, but it would have been easier. I decided to lift up my photos and pull out the pieces of the gold circles that were not showing, which is fine. And I'm just trying to figure out where to position these so that it kind of does a mimic of what is going on up at the top. So I have these circles overlapping and then I am making this happen down here as well with the circles overlapping. So I get this is my happy place down. And for some reason, like it just sitting down there by itself without these little circly gold bits, I just didn't like it at all. But I added those little circly gold bits to it and hello, loving it. So I go ahead and put a little washi tape down, a little Gina K Quick Connect glue. And I have to say, I just really like saying Gina K Quick Connect Glue. Just makes me happy saying it. Alrighty. Then my washi tape was kind of peeking out a little bit, so I needed to tuck that up there. And just position this so that everything is looking great. Tucking in the little end pieces there. And I'm like, yes, it's coming along. It is coming along. I am almost finished. And then I figure, you know what? I've got these purple enamel dots on the purple and I've got the green on the green and the pink on the pink. I think I need to do some white on white. 
Now, the first set of enamel dots that I pulled out were a little bit more creamy than white, so they didn't work out that great. But these little white enamel dots that I found are perfect. And I believe these are from Coco Vanilla. So yay, that's exciting. And then I'm gonna go ahead and find some white enamel hearts as well. And I bought these um, from Islet Outlet at the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo, which was super fun. So there we go. And I just overlapped that heart a little bit on my label sticker. And since I did that, I just repositioned the um, enamel dots. And there it is, guys. Thanks so much for watching.